name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My name is Pastor Shirley Farrar, and this is my husband, uh, Pastor Daryl Farrar of the Meeting House Church. We are so glad to um, talk with you each and every Sunday afternoon. And today, as always, we, we, we're going to start with a scripture. Amen. This is uh, first, first Peter chapter 3, verses 8 and 9. Finally, be ye all of one mind, having compassion one of another. Love as brethren, be pitiful, be courteous, not rendering evil for evil or railing for railing, but contrarywise, blessing, mm -hmm. knowing that ye are thereunto called, that ye sh should inherit a blessing. For he that will love life and see good days, let him refrain his tongue from evil and his lips that shall speak mm -hmm. no guile. Yes. Wow. And as always, we always have a topic, and the topic today is basically marriages, marriages coming together and not tearing one another down. We should never tear our spouses down no matter what. If they're saying things or doing things that are not of God, then we need to pray for one another. And, you know, the scripture, the scripture here is talking to, to the brothers and the sisters, not talking to ones that are not in the, in the church. Yeah. So literally talking to a spouse, you're supposed to bless them. You're not going rail for railing. Well, you did this. Well, you did that. And you didn't put out the trash. Well, you didn't cook the dinner. Right. No, you don't go rail for railing. Right. You say, hey, you didn't cook dinner? No problem. We can go out and go get dinner. Especially when you were talking to our friends. We're talking to our friends in the community or we're talking with our coworkers. And all of a sudden, I've, I've seen people begin to tear their spouses mm -hmm. down. And I'm sitting and I'm saying to myself, this is not good. I'm sure, surely they have read the scriptures when it says if you have nothing good to say, then don't say it. But for some reason, it's as if it's okay because that's their spouse. But we have to remember that your spouse belongs to God. Mm -hmm. And the Bible calls you to be a blessing to them so that you will inherit a blessing. Yes. You know, the Bible says we reap what we sow. So you need to reap a blessing so you can inherit a blessing. So mm -hmm. there's something that comes with being that way. You know, the Bible says that he that finds a wife finds a, a good thing yep. and finds, <laughs> finds favor <laughs> of the Lord. So the thing is that a lot of us men out there, yeah, we, we, we found a good thing, mm -hmm. we, we, we found a wife, mm -hmm. but we haven't understood that they bring favor into our lives, that God has ordained. So listen. Be the blessing that God called you to be. Mm -hmm. Stop going at it one for another and going mm -hmm. tit for tat because neither one of you are going to win. It's an argument for a reason. No one wins in an argument. You tear each other down, mm -hmm. and then you've got to come back together, apologize, ask for forgiveness, and the whole nine. Well, God calls us, to, as we go on, to be wiser, smarter, and know to refrain from tearing each other down. Mm -hmm. So listen, until next time, our next marriage advancement moment, mm -hmm. you guys be blessed. And as we always say, divorce, divorce is, is not, not an, an option. option.